Hi, welcome to Tween Makers Club. My name is Miss Karen from the Grace Public Library. I'm going to show you the steps to make our LED paper circuit greeting cards. So if you picked up your materials from the library, you'll have everything you need. Um, you also need a few different items, which I'll tell you about in just a few moments. If you did not register for the program here at the library, you can um, view this video, of course, at any time. And all of the materials that we use to create this activity are easy to find. You can find most of the materials through different craft stores and you can purchase them online. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can show you how to create our LED paper circuit. Okay. So you'll see this is a picture of one of our patrons who made this greeting card a few years back that we had everyone come into the library um, and due to our um, limited restrictions with programming, we're able to offer this to you online on our YouTube channel. So that's um, the greeting card that you are going to have a chance to make today. So if you have your kit from the library, go ahead and get that ready. Um, this slide shows the materials that we are going to use to make our craft. You will find in your bag two different greeting cards. Um, they're holiday themed. I also included extras of these greeting cards just in case because sometimes when you're creating, you might make a mistake and you might need some more material. So you should have that in your bag. I also included some blank um, paper cardstock actually that's a little bit thicker than regular paper and you can use that to draw your own paper circuits and create your own ideas for greeting cards, which once you make the first card you'll have more of an idea of how to use your creativity to make your own design. On the right hand side, you'll also see the main three items that we need to create our paper circuit. You will have a container of LED lights, which are very fragile and small, so please be careful when you're handling them. You also have three batteries um, that we will use for the paper circuits. The batteries that you need to use for this activity are three V lithium batteries, um, and you can buy these online if you need more, but every single paper circuit craft will use one battery. Um, and you can interchange these so you can take a battery off one of your cards and use it on another card if you wanna make multiple. We then have our copper tape, which is on that ground round, that round cylinder. Um, the tape is also very fragile. So for this activity, it includes a lot of patience and practice. So the copper tape is what conducts our electricity when it's attached to the battery. So we're going to work with that today. On the bottom of the screen, you'll see other um, additional items that you might need. So you definitely need scissors, tape, markers or colored pencils, and a pen. So go ahead and get those ready. You can pause this video if you need to. You also, in your bag, you have envelopes that I was able to find um, that you can put your cards in if you want. And like I said, you also have blank white cardstock. Okay, so before we start, let's talk about what is a paper circuit. So on the screen, I have a picture um, of one of our parallel circuits, and this looks like the one that we're going to try first um, together on this video with our reindeer card, and I have it right here. I made this the other day, so I can show you the step-by-step -step instructions. So this is what it looks like. So inside the card, you will find your circuit that we are going to make. So it looks just like that. So a paper circuit is something that incorporates an LED light into the design. So think of LED lights, um, you might have them on your Christmas tree, you might have them in your house. Um, these lights that we're working with are very small. Um, I believe they're all different sizes. We have some very small ones in your kit and then kind of medium sized um, LED lights. This is what one looks like right here. They have two legs and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. So a paper circuit could include um, many different types of projects. It might include a greeting card, which we're doing today, different types of artwork, 
constructed um, 3D items, building projects, and much more. There are a lot of um, resources online, which I will share at the website suggestions for you at the end. So when you're building a paper circuit, you are conducting electricity using a battery and copper tape. It's really cool. When I first did this project, I didn't know what to expect. I was honestly thinking, hmm, is this really going to work? And I had some hiccups along the way um, because when you're working with paper circuits, it's very important to pay attention to the positive and negative side, um, sides of the battery and the LED light. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Okay, so again, this is the paper circuit guide that you'll see. So we have two separate lines here. The copper tape that you're going to use, which again, you will have in your bag. Um, mine's kind of a mess because I used it the other day, but it's on this green loop here. So we're going to use the copper tape on the lines that you see on the guide here. Um, it's just like a sticker. They also make conductive markers online, which I haven't tried, um, but that's an alternative if you're not able to find copper tape. So you'll see this template really shows the instructions really well. It tells you where to put the copper tape. So you'll notice the arrow here. It tells you where to place the battery, which is right on the circle here. And they give you some suggestions, which we'll talk about. It also shows you where we're going to place the LED light. This activity came from a great website um, called Makerspace, and I have that um, link for you soon. Okay, so let's get ready to build our first greeting card. So you're going to find your reindeer card. And my suggestion is do not fold the card first, leave it flat. When I made this um, yesterday, I folded the card and I ran into some problems that I had to troubleshoot. So do not fold the card, just leave it flat. And you should have it on your table flat so you can see the guide. And we're going to build our parallel circuit. Okay, so the first step is to take your copper tape. And you'll see in this demonstration, I took a few photographs so you can see how this activity works. So you're going to take your um, copper tape and start peeling it just slightly so you get a good hold on it. And we're going to place it directly on the first circuit line. Leave, do not cut a piece of copper tape to do this. It's better to leave the copper tape attached to the round object here. Keep it attached. If you tape it or cut it, you might not have enough to complete your circuit. So that's a tip that I learned the first time that I made the activity. So this picture, and feel free to pause the video if you need to, to go a little bit slower. Um, this picture shows you how to put down the copper tape. So a good tip is to hold on to the backing, just like a sticker of the copper tape and slowly place it down on the guide. So that's what I'm showing you in step two. Okay, so once you reach the first corner, so we're starting with the larger line for our first circuit. So once you reach the first corner, you're going to stop very carefully. Don't cut the copper tape. And in the pictures here, I show you how to fold the copper tape so that it does not break the circuit. Some people choose to cut them and to piece together the tape so they're overlapping, but sometimes you'll run into the circuit not functioning correctly. So folding really is the best way. So you'll see here on the left-hand side, the trick to folding is to pull the copper tape in the opposite direction of the line. So you'll see here, I pulled it upwards in this direction. So you're going to pull it the opposite. Once you have this crease, it kind of looks like a triangle here. You can use your finger and press it down. And this is the tricky part. You're then going to fold the copper tape over. So on the right hand side of the picture here, you'll see you're folding it over and you can press down on it to make sure there's no creases. And you then have your fold. So it looks like a square again. 
Again, no cutting of the copper tape. And you're going to go ahead and then continue to put down your copper tape on that black line that's there for you for a template. Okay. So in step four, you see that in this picture, I completed my first circuit here. So you'll run into two more corners that you have to carefully fold to complete the circuit. When you reach the very end of that line, this is where you are going to cut your copper tape um, so we can finish off that one part. So this is called a parallel circuit because they're not connected. Um, they'll be connected in the end by using the battery, which you'll see at the very end of the program. Okay. So when you're ready for the next step, this is step five, you're going to use the same card that we're working on and we're going to work on the second parallel circuit here and it's much shorter. This is where we're going to attach the battery and we're eventually going to do the LED light here that connects the two. So you're going to do the same process as the first circuit. You're going to take your copper tape, again, leave it on the spindle there, and you're going to start on the bottom. I would suggest not starting on the side of the battery right here because it can get a little bit more complicated. So I prefer, I suggest to start right at this end here. So you're going to run into a fold very quickly for this one. So again, you're going to use the method. You're going to pull it the opposite side of the parallel um, template there and then fold it over to continue your circuit. Okay. So you'll see I did the two different corners and then eventually you're going to get to the end of this line here. Very important that you extend your copper tape past the battery circle. So I did it a slightly more than what the template shows. You want to make sure it goes all the way kind of right underneath where it says facing down. Put, um, make sure you pull it all the way to this um, edge here. And that's when you're going to get ready to cut the copper tape. Okay. And then you will be left with two separate lines here. This way. Okay. All right. So if you ran into any issues such as tearing of the copper tape, sometimes that happens, it's very fragile. If there's any tears in the copper tape, it will not function correctly. So my suggestion is to peel it off and to start fresh. You can use the same card, just make sure you have all of the copper tape off. It will rip off just like a sticker. Um, any tears, you want to make sure to replace it and to try again. Okay. So now we're um, at the last two steps and the, this is where it all comes together. So the seventh step is adding the battery. And I gave you a few different batteries in your kit. So go ahead and snap one off. And before we apply this to our activity, we're going to test the battery. It's always important to test and make sure that your battery and your LED light is working. So I have my battery here and you'll notice there's a positive side and a negative side to the battery. It shows you the plus sign on the very front of your battery. So take your battery and then this is when you also want to grab your LED light. So you can choose any color that you want to try for this activity. I'm going to grab a yellow LED light. So we're going to test our LED light in our battery. So to do this, you're going to take the positive side of the LED light. So you'll see the two different legs. And then you're going to attach the positive side to the positive side of the battery and the negative side to the negative side of the battery. Now, how do you know which um, side of the LED light? Oh, I almost lost mine. See, <laughs> they're very fragile. Which side is positive and which side is negative? Um, it shows you on your template that the long leg is your positive. So it's very, it's slightly longer. So you really have to look at it. The shorter leg is your negative side. So I'm going to take the positive side and I'm just going to place it right on top. And then you'll see this one lights up. You can see that on the video. 
So you can practice, um, go ahead. You could even go through all of your lights right now if you want. Sometimes you might find one that doesn't work, um, but most of them should. So you can take a few minutes and test that out. And this tells me that my battery is also working and ready to go. Okay, so after you tested, you can go ahead and take your battery and on your card, you are going to place your battery directly on the round circle and it gives you some instructions. It tells you to tape the edge of the battery down, leave the middle exposed for copper tape or for copper contact. So that's really important. So you can see here, this middle part of the battery does not have tape on it and you'll see why. And I actually made this mistake one of the first times I made this project. Um, the copper tape on the other um, parallel line that's a little bit longer, it needs to make contact right on the battery to conduct the electricity and to really power that LED light up, okay? So you're just going to use tape and tape it down just like that. All right, when you're ready, we're going to move on to one of the last steps, step eight. We're going to add our LED light. Okay, so you're going to take the LED light that you want and you're going to place it right on the guide. It shows you here where to do that. The long leg is the positive and it needs to go where the template tells you to. And then you also have the negative. So if it's the wrong direction, it will not light up. You're again going to tape the LED light. You can tape right over the copper tape. It will not um, affect it in any way. Um, you can, it's hard to see in the picture, but I did that on both ends right over um, the legs of the LED light. So you're gonna go ahead and prepare that. So you'll notice on the left-hand side, there's a hole here in my card. So the very last step, you could do this first if you wanted. Um, but I did this last because I wanted to make sure everything lined up correctly. You're going to take a pair of scissors or a sharp pen and you're going to poke a hole very carefully where the reindeer's nose is right here. So I usually um, open the card. You didn't fold it yet, so it'll be flat. So turn it around and you'll very carefully make a hole. This is where the LED light is going to pop through your card. So at this point, you can fold after you cut to make sure it fits in. Now here's the trick to make sure your card functions correctly. Do you see how mine's turning on? So right here in the circle, you're going to click press. It says press right here and it lights up your card. How fun is that? It looks awesome. So this is after probably two tries because I wasn't able to line up my circuit correctly. So when you open it, you'll see this part of the circuit is making contact with the battery. So you might have to work on your folding a little bit to get it to work. Really cool, right? So you made your first paper circuit greeting card. Really fun. So you can make that for someone at home or you can um, go ahead and get ready to create your own idea if you want. Good job, everyone. So here's a picture of another card that I made. So awesome, if you made it this far, I just wanna share a few website suggestions. The very first link is from Makerspace. And this is where I actually grabbed and borrowed this activity. So they have some really cool instructions. If you need to go a little step further and get more details on how to make the project, um, they have this available. So thank you to them for making this awesome card. The next link is um, from Instructables and they have a lot of different projects for light up LED cards um, as well as other just STEM related projects. And the very last is called Chibitronics. We actually have some of these um, items at the library that I used a few years back. They make um, LED stickers, which are really cool and really fun to make projects with. We've used this at the library a few times. They also have some other products you can buy that um, you can make different items with. They have a lot of like 3D creation items that light up. Um, they have a lot of ideas for different projects. So you might wanna check them out too. So if you guys would like to share your cards that you made at home, feel free to share them. Um, my programming web email is right here. It's gpltweenprogramming at gmail.com. Or you can also post it to our Greece Public Library Facebook page or just message the Facebook page with a picture of you and your card or just your card. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. 
Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.